In this tutorial, we'll work through the process of adding navigation functionality to the lesson that we've been creating uh, throughout this workshop. But before we begin, I want to point out an, kind of an important point about building in navigation and the general usability of e-learning content. And this point was made by Michael Allen, who's a prolific writer and instructional designer in the area of e-learning. And he states that when we're designing e-learning, we want to make our e-learning at least as usable as a book. And so if we think about this for a second, a book, when you're, when you're reading it, you can flip through the pages, you can flip back through the pages, you could skip pages, or you could go to the chapter menu and, and advance to a specific uh, section of the book. And so as we go and actually build out our e-learning lesson, we want to think about that, that general strategy as we go about building our navigation functionality. And so this, our navigation and discussions within this tutorial are going to focus on two approaches. The first is building in next and back functionality. And the second is using a menu-driven functionality within our lesson. And so we're going to look at those and in specific ways and how they can be used for, um, for actually enhancing the usability of our e-learning lesson. And so the, the first thing that I actually want to do is we want to get back into our Slide Master view. We're going to select the View tab and then go to Slide Master. And this should look familiar, so we've created the basic screen layouts uh, for, our, uh, for our lesson. And what we're going to do is actually first build in the, um, the menu functionality, menu-driven functionality within our lesson. And to do this, we're actually going to place this on the main slide, so up where it says number one, the main area. And the reason why we're doing this is because we want to be able to update the menu functionality in one place and have it update consistently across all of the slides within our lesson because this is going to be a, a consistent element we want it to be included in that area. Now you'll notice in some of the previous tutorials we've built in kind of placeholders here for our navigation area. So what we're actually going to do is once we set that up we're going to go ahead and delete those uh, text placeholders so that it won't get in the way um, and we'll have just one area to update the, this, the, air, the um, navigation functionality. So first what we want to do is actually copy one of those um, those text and content areas. I'm just selecting control C. I'm going to go up here and select that main slide and just hit control V. And what that's doing is it copied it in the exact same location from those sub slides to then to our, our main slide there. And um, what I'm going to do here is actually include some placeholders because we don't have specific um, slides as of yet for our e-learning lesson. We're just kind of building out the templates. But I want to have specific places where they can go. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select, uh, type in link 1, link 2, link 3, link 4, and link 5. This will give us five specific areas that we could link to. If we need to add more later, we can, and it'll update throughout the entire uh, lesson. Now, when we actually go in to add the navigation, what we'll do is we'll just simply highlight and then go here to select the hyperlink option, and then we'll actually select a place within the document that we'll, we'll choose at a later point. But we'll walk through that as, as the time comes. Okay, so what we've noticed, again, we haven't styled any text or anything of that nature, but what we do have is a specific area here to, to select and, and to type information in. And we'll also notice that that's been updated on these other screens. So I'm going to select this text area and go ahead and delete that. We don't need that anymore. And we should we have that ready to go. The other thing that I actually want to do and, and change from what we've done in, a, in our previous tutorial is when we were specifically looking at the layout of things, we'll also notice that the title section is something that will remain consistent across the lesson. So what I'm going to do there is, is the same process. I'm going to control C that by copying it. And then I'm going to go back up to the main slide and paste that in there. So what will happen is, is whenever we update that particular title in this one slide, it will update throughout the entire lesson. Now what we can do is actually go in here and remove that uh, text area and notice that it still remains and we have a consistent, it'll be a consistent look and feel. And all we have to do is update that content in one place. Okay, so now that we have our menu functionality built out and the location of that, we actually now want to look at the next and back buttons. 
and this is going to be a little different because um, at, at first glance we may think that this is going to be a consistent element so we would put it on this this main slide but actually what we want to do is build that into these sub main slides and the reason why we're doing that is because if we have a slide at the very beginning of the lesson we don't want a back button and if we have a slide at the very end of the lesson we don't want a next button and so what we're going to have to do is actually do a few copies here to um, to make sure that we have those templates available when the time comes there also may be certain situations where you don't want a next or back button and you want to uh, merely present the screen and maybe add navigation within the context of the screen. And so what we're going to do first is select um, the, the second um, sub-slide down and we're going to go into the insert menu. And we're going to use a shape here to actually uh, select that button. And what I'm going to do here is select the, uh, the rounded corner square. I'm going to go ahead and draw that down here in the lower right hand corner of the screen. And just for um, to make this easier to, to uh, examine and to look at, I'm actually going to change the style of that here shortly. Uh, we'll actually work with visual design in some upcoming uh, modules. But notice right now I'm actually building in, going to build in both the next and the back functionality. So I copied that, I'm moving it in and I'm also going to select both of those and go ahead and make sure that they are aligned. I'm going to go ahead and align that to the top. And what I'm also can do is actually go in and type directly in these buttons. I'm going to have, label that next and I'm going to label this back. Okay. And what we can actually do is go ahead and, and uh, select the, the the functionality of them right at this point. So I'm going to highlight that, right click and select hyperlink. Now I'm also going to choose in the insert hyperlink box the place in this document option. And I know that this button always needs to go to the next slide. So I'm going to select that and I'm going to select OK. I'm going to go do the same thing with the back button. I'm going to right click, select hyperlink. I'm already on place in this document and I'll choose previous slide and select OK. Now that I have that functionality already programmed in, I can copy this to this second slide. Now what I'm going to do is just select both of these, select Control C, and I'm going to select this slide and then Control V. And notice they appear in the same location, they're consistent across those slides and I have both next and back functionality. Now what I'd also like to do now is go ahead and make a duplicate of the first slide and then a duplicate of the split screen slide here. And what these will be is actually, um, we'll actually make one more copy as well of each of those. So we'll make two duplicates. So what we're going to end up having here is a slide that only has the next button. So this will go be our if this happens to appear at the first part of the lesson, we want that. Then we have our slide that has both buttons, which we want that as in, inside the content. And then we want one that has just the back button. So I'm going to select the next and delete that. And then I'm going to do the same thing with these other slides. So I'm going to remove the back button. I have one with both. And then I'm going to remove the next button. I'm going to go ahead and save my work. And I'm actually going to go ahead and I'll preview this for you, how this works. And so uh, I'm now back in the main slide area. I've closed out of the uh, master slide section. And I have a slide here to start with. Now this is drawing from that first main slide that we're not going to work with. But if I select that slide by right clicking it and go out down to layout, I'm going to choose this title and content section. Now when, so I have a, a, a slide here that has the next button and I'm going to go and add a new slide and I'm going to go again to the layout and now I'm going to choose the slide here that has the next and back button. Now I'm going to go ahead and preview this work. I'm going to select uh, F5 and if I go here I select the next and notice I have that other slide and I can select back 
and I can now navigate between those two slides. So this gives us, gives us our basic navigation functionality and enough flexibility where we can also um, adjust things as we, as we see fit, as we design and work with in that template. Okay, so what we've done is we actually built in navigation functionality to our e-learning lesson and uh, in the next uh, set of tutorials we're actually going to look at some of the visual design techniques that, we'll, that we can then bring in and make this, um, this lesson pretty if you will. We can add in some, some very pleasing looking aesthetics and also look at how we can integrate these, these things together so we have something that's usable now and we'll have something in, in coming up here that is both usable and aesthetically pleasing.